John the Tech here from Lynxwell Automotive coming to you from our new bay and our new location in Riverside, California. What's up? And we're going to do our first video and it's going to be an installation video for our new Gen 2 T-Style on a Tundra on this beautiful thing here. All right, so before we get into the install, let's go ahead and see what's gonna come out of the box. Obviously, you've got your new T-style dash bezel here. Uh, for those of you who have seen our Gen 1, you can see uh, we've got a wider screen, not quite as tall, because we didn't add the knobs down here on the bottom. Retains one extra factory piece, uh, but we'll get into that when we get into the install. Um, and then you've got your navigation antenna. You wanna make sure you put that in. Your Wi-Fi antenna, if you don't screw that on the back of the radio, you're gonna have really weak Wi-Fi hot, wi hotspots. Uh, your factory USB adapter, and then your USB input, so you wanna make sure you use this because it will retain your factory USB hub. Your line, uh, your line out, so for your amplifiers, those of you who are adding amplifiers, subwoofers and stuff like that, you go ahead and have your, your line out there. Our white USB dongle, which is gonna do your phone link. So it'll do uh, basically Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You know, when plug that into one of the USBs, then plug your phone into that, helps decode which kind of phone it is. Uh, your AV in, uh, that's gonna be for an auxiliary in, as well as your three camera inputs. And then your main uh, power hub, or your power plug here, you can see we're gonna enter it, it, it adapt to the factory steering wheel controls, the factory CAN bus, the factory uh, rear, uh, rear camera, factory auxiliary, factory uh, climate controls, everything's on this one kind of big fat main plug. Uh, your Bluetooth uh, microphone, and then your CAN bus decoder. So this is what's gonna come in your box. You wanna make sure you have all these pieces before you get started. Now that we know we have all the pieces, why don't we go ahead and jump in the truck and talk about tearing it apart and installing this thing. All right, so here we are, we're inside our truck. Now in order to get the, uh, the radio and the climate control panel and all that out, uh, you're just gonna need a couple tools. It's actually a fairly simple removal. Uh, one's gonna be a plastic pry tool, and the other one's gonna be a 10 millimeter uh, with a, a decent, uh, decent extension, because you're gonna kinda have to get to two 10 millimeters towards the back there. Uh, so it's gonna come out in three pieces. Uh, down here at the bottom where your factory auxiliary and USB and uh, cigarette lighter plugs are. That panel is going to come out first, which is then going to let us unclip the climate control panel, which will then give us access to four 10 millimeters that hold the radio in. And we'll pull those four 10 millimeters out, and then we'll have everything out. Uh, really quite simple. So I'll give you uh, just kind of a, a tech tip. Uh, use your thumb, put it inside the uh, cigarette lighter here, gives you a kind of a bit of a grip. Uh, be careful not to snap this door off though, but what it does is it will help you create a, a gap for you to get your pry tool in here to pop this bottom piece off. Uh, so what I'll go ahead and do is speed the video up while I pull, uh, unsnap these three, two things here, pull out the four 10 millimeters, and then once we get back there, we'll look at the plugs. We'll talk about plugging in the radio, uh, moving over some clips, and then I'm telling you guys, the install on this thing is so simple, uh, we'll be done before you know it. All right, let's get going. All right, so there you go. We got everything out. Uh, real quick note, uh, this bottom panel here with your cigarette lighters and your USB, uh, no need to really unplug it. Uh, you can just kind of let it sit. Uh, just make sure it doesn't scratch any plastic. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at uh, all of our connectors back here. Uh, first one I want to look at is going to be the uh, the one that was here uh, plugged into your factory climate control. Uh, so you can see we get our main, our big main plug that's got all of our adapters on it here. Uh, you're going to find the AC connector one. Uh, you're going to plug in the AC connector here first. Make sure you don't forget that one. Um, and then you're just going to go through and this big bundle uh, that was plugged into the back of your radio, uh, we're just going to go one by one plugging these in. Uh, first one we'll plug in is this one here for your FM, your AM FM antenna. Uh, so make sure that's plugged in. Uh, we have our factory USB. We'll find where my USB cord is. There it is. Uh, so you can see here, uh, square side, square side clip, plug that in. And now we've adapted to that factory hub. Uh, we'll be able to plug that into one of our uh, two USB inputs. Uh, now we have all of our, our power plugs and, and our camera plugs and our auxiliary plugs. So uh, this first big, long, skinny one, uh, you'll notice all inside uh, these two plugs here are some really small pins. Uh, so you just wanna take a lot of care as you go to plug these in uh, because if you've got these wires kinked, 
it'll actually move the pin just slightly and it's enough for it to not line up and actually break a pin. Uh, so if you can see down there, I'm not sure if my camera's zooming in right, uh, but there is a lot of uh, really small pins in here. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you hold those wires as straight as possible. Don't try and keep them from, from bunching up and just plug in slowly uh, the, these two uh, plugs here. One of which is uh, for your factory backup camera to make sure that you retain that factory camera. And then one is gonna be for uh, your factory, um, all of your CAN bus, all of your data, see that? I bent a pin, see? Told you guys, my, uh, my caution was, uh, it's warranted. All right, there we go, I got that one plugged in. That one plugged in. And we have our two uh, radio plugs, so our power and front speakers and our rear speakers. We can find those ones here. Go ahead and plug those two in. All right, I think we got it all plugged in there. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at what we have coming out of our main power plugs here. Uh, so we can, you can see there's three RCAs coming off of the, this, uh, this clump here. Uh, the red and white are your auxiliary input um, and your yellow is gonna be your factory camera. Uh, so you'll go ahead and grab your AV in plug. Uh, you'll notice all of these are, are tagged here. We have right camera input. Uh, this one says reverse camera input. So we're gonna plug our, that yellow into that one. And then we're gonna look for the red and the white here. Uh, they're gonna be tagged aux left and aux right. And we'll plug these in. And this, what this will do is this will retain your factory um, auxiliary input. Now, if you're installing a, uh, maybe a flip down system or a DVD player or something and you wanna use that auxiliary, uh, you'll just unplug this. Um, it'll just render your factory auxiliary um, inoperable, just kind of uh, whatever you prefer. Um, so there you go. So that is all of those plugs. You can see our uh, antenna plug is here. Uh, we've got this big white plug that's coming off and that's gonna go to your CAN box. So you wanna make sure you get your CAN box plugged in. If you don't plug that in, no steering wheel controls and all kinds of things aren't gonna work. All right, let's grab our USB input to this brown plug here. You can see it's got a uh, side that's gonna plug into our radio. Other side's got two uh, USBs on it. So we'll go ahead and take the one that we adapted from the factory, plug it into uh, USB one. And then USB two uh, can go to just about anything we want it to really. Uh, if you purchased our uh, USB DVR camera, uh, you could go ahead and plug it into that. Um, if you've got a USB hub and you wanna add some extra inputs, you can do that. Can go to a hard drive, uh, can go to our uh, USB CD player. Um, quite a few different things you could do with that. So uh, run that to wherever kind of you want to, glove box, keep it behind the dash, uh, whatever you prefer. For uh, our install, I think what we'll do is we'll drop it down here, probably get it into the uh, glove box, uh, but we'll do that in a minute. And the last thing uh, that we've got to, well not the last thing, sec the last thing, is gonna be our navigation antenna. Now the navigation antenna will work like any other navigation antenna. It can be underneath plastic, but it cannot be underneath metal. Uh, so you don't have to put it on top of your dash here, uh, but you do have to make sure that there's no metal on top of it. So depending on your truck, uh, you could probably look back in there and see that there's a, a nice little air vent here you can stick it on top of. Uh, the air vents that are coming right here, great spot to it. You can see the, uh, the sky. So we'll go ahead and uh, We'll go ahead and put that on there. Reach back, there it is. Take off the double stick tape. And then that goes back in there. All right. All right, now the last thing is our Bluetooth microphone. Gonna make sure you run this. Um, this style microphone actually works kind of the best up towards the uh, steering column. Um, so let me see if I can turn the camera just enough for you to see the steering column here. All right. And so what I'm gonna do for this installation is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount it just right here on the, uh, right by the cluster and we'll run the wire down and come back around here and then we'll plug it in. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is show you one last 
uh, step that you have to do, and that is to take off uh, the four clips. So there's two clips on top of the radio, and then there are two clips here on the bottom of the climate control, these plastic clips. Uh, we'll take these off and put them onto our T-style dash. That way when we snap it in, it stays in there nice and tight. Um, so make sure you do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my mic, I'm gonna run my mic over. Uh, I'm actually gonna install a DVR on this one, so I'm gonna put the DVR in, run that cord, uh, go ahead and uh, swap these clips over, um, and then we'll put the dash back together, we'll turn it on and we'll look at how we can program the HVAC, and then my friends, our install is done and you are enjoying a Tesla radio inside your truck. So, let's get to it. Sorry about that, UPS showed up, had to stop the video. All right, back to it. So, we got our clips, moved our clips from our panels onto our T-style. We got our microphone ran, uh, went ahead and ran our uh, DVR camera. And so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna make sure we plug all of these plugs into the back of the radio, snap the back of the radio, or snap the radio in, snap that lower piece in, and then we'll go ahead and program it. All right, so I am not sure if you can see on this picture here, or in the, in the camera zoom, uh, not sure if I uh, mentioned to make sure that you plugged in both sides of the CAN box, but there are two plugs for the CAN box, make sure you do that. Um, and then in the back of the radio, your USB goes into the corner closest to where the uh, the two antennas are, the three antennas really, this top corner here. Uh, your your uh, inputs go on the other opposite corner, right below that is your line out, right next to that is the white plug for the climate controls. So you wanna make sure you get all of those in the right spot. Um, so now that we've got everything plugged in, uh, we're gonna carefully kind of just finagle all of our wires back in here. We'll get some zip ties, kind of clean it up a bit. Uh, we'll snap this in, snap it on, and we'll turn it on. And there it is, all in. Um, if you notice, when you're trying to put this in, the uh, the radio bezel sits right on top of the uh, the air vent and the be the brace right there. Uh, so you are going to want to make sure that you don't let an RCA or any of the the uh, wires come underneath that radio because it's going to push it up and it won't let you snap it in. Uh, so, all right, there it is. Let's turn it on. We'll get into. Um, how we program the HVAC and then uh, I'll do a couple two-minute how-to's showing you a couple of the features and uh, then you're rocking and rolling guys. Alright, so now once it's booted up, uh, you're going to want to grab your factory climate control. So if you notice this one here, uh, we do not have a dual climate, we have a single climate, which means we're going to be a Tundra low. Um, if your truck came with the, the dual climate controls, you're going to want to make sure you go in there and program it to Tundra high. Um, if you don't have a program correctly, your HVAC's not going to work right. So let's go through that process real quick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into settings. And then from settings, uh, you know what, let me close some doors so that the uh, icon goes away. All 
All right, I'm back. So. Uh, icon with the explanation point with a circle around it. System version is what it's called. Uh, we got the uh, information here, push and hold the screen. Keypad pops up. Use passcode 7211. Press OK. And here we are in the factory mode. This is where we can program. Um, you can see the different vehicles we have here. Uh, so we are a Tundra Low. Go ahead and select Tundra Low. Press, do you want to change it? Confirm the change, and now you can see up on top it says Tundra Low. Uh, you will have to cycle the key off. Let a door open so that the CAN bus resets, and then go ahead and turn it back on. And now we should be programmed. Go ahead and hit climate. And there's our controls. Fan up and down, our temperature up and down, and then our mode up and down. So it'll cycle through just like it would on the knob. So there you go, you guys are rocking and rolling now. Uh, this is a Android tablet, so like I said, the uh, you could do all kinds of cool things with the apps. Go into the app, uh, Google Play Store, go download some Angry Birds or Netflix or uh, you know all kinds of different apps. So um, yeah, that's how you install a Gen 2 system into your Tundra. Uh, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube. Check out some of our other videos. Uh, I'm going to shoot some two-minute how-to showing you how to do uh, the Easy Connection, the Auto Kit. Uh, we'll look at um, how to do the DVR camera, a couple other things like that. So check out some of the two-minute how-tos. Uh, leave some comments, share our videos, and uh, check us out on all the social medias. Uh, we are Linkswell Inc. on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you around, guys.